Good morning, everybody. Happy Halloween. I know it's not Halloween anymore when you're watching this, but today is October 31st. I had planned to go out and get myself a little Halloween treat this morning, but then I discovered it was fucking freezing outside. So I decided, nope, not going to happen today. It took me long enough to get out of bed. That it just couldn't happen. I finally turned my heat on this morning. It's now on its way back up. It was at 61 when I woke up. I literally could not crawl myself out of bed. There was just not happening. I was gonna go get a little Starbucks and I was gonna have a cute little stroll. Not anymore. I'm making coffee at home. It's warmer in here. Not that it's even warm, but. Because I was gonna have a little treat anyways. It looks like such a wonderful day out there, but it is deceiving. But I probably will go out at some point today because I haven't been outside in two full days now since Saturday night. It's now Tuesday. I think I'll have to go for a stroll in the afternoon when it warms up a little bit. This morning though, I have my run. This is week seven of eight. Sorry? When did that happen? When did that happen? I remember starting week one thinking like, oh my God, eight weeks is kind of a long time to commit to. Time is fake. That's what I've decided. Because it doesn't feel like I've been doing this for seven weeks now. I mean, this is week seven, but you know, time flies. I mean, the fact that tomorrow is November, this is going up in November. What? I don't know. Anyways, gotta start the day of work here while I drink my coffee and then I'm off for my run. Time for my run. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I feel like I haven't run in like a while, even though it was just Friday, which is not that long ago. And these are the recommended days that they have. Like I have it set up for Tuesday and Friday and then it's enough rest apparently according to the program, but it feels like a while. So I'm a little nervous. I feel like it's gonna be spicy. It's week seven of eight. Like this is not gonna be chill. I'm about to be so sweaty. <laughs> but just a quick moment for how wonderful my backyard looks right now. Like leaves, it's just so fall. I love it. Okay, I gotta do this. Where are my shoes? Found them. Welcome to week seven, episode one of You Can Run. Today, this is a 30 minute class focusing on building our endurance again, getting back into that endurance mindset, building our intervals and jogging our recovery. I did it. That was pretty much running the whole time. It was like run and then recovery was a jog versus walking. So pushed myself a little bit. There was a point where I wanted to walk instead of jog recovery. It's a mental game. Just keep, keep going. And so I did and that felt good and now I'm done. I'm gonna edit while I cool off, I'm gonna shower and then I gotta get my vlog up for today. cold, cozy inside day. I don't think I'm gonna go out there in the world. I don't think so. I thought that I would because it seemed like it was gonna be a nice idea. I think I've changed my mind and I just wanna have a warm soup and stay inside, turn on my fireplace tonight. That sounds really nice. Do some organizing around the kitchen. You know, I got my big bowl of soup that I made yesterday. I'm gonna have my soup and then I actually bought some stuff to organize my spice drawer in the kitchen. It's actually like, a, let me show you. It's one of my favorite things in the house. I've always dreamt of having something like this. I got these spice containers on Amazon with these labels, also Amazon. But obviously I cannot tell what they are from the top. So a lot of the time I have to pick them up and figure out what they all are, which obviously isn't a big deal at all. But I saw on Amazon that they have little round ones to go on the tops. So I got some of those. I think it's gonna look so good. Obviously very functional too, which is great. We're gonna top off the soup with some chili onion crunch. Always so good. I love a warm soup. Considering it's actual Halloween today, I do need to do something Halloween-y. I think we're just gonna have a very cozy night, which is my dream. Whenever I have an opportunity for like a truly cozy night, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. And I think we have to watch at least one Halloween movie. Like, do we do a binge? Do we do a Halloween Town binge? That's my personal favorite Halloween movie. It always has been. Twitches, I think, is the runner up. I watched Hocus Pocus last year for the first time ever. 
And I feel like that one, there's gotta be like a nostalgia factor because I wasn't, I don't know, maybe it needs another chance. While I have my soup, I'm gonna take this time to scroll on TikTok. Okay, so these are the stickers I got. Very simple. I almost got these black ones, but then I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna match what I currently have. So let's go through all of my containers and label them. This actually brings me so much joy. Now I need to get this perfectly straight. It's not perfectly center, but is that gonna bother me? No, I'm gonna use it. That'll be fine. You know what I'm realizing? These aren't even centered like on the sticker. So that's fine. It actually makes me feel better because then it's not my fault. <laughs> no matter what I do, it's not gonna be perfect. So we're not gonna think about it. No, no, no. Is that gonna piss me off? Maybe, I didn't think about making sure they were all straight. Except they did mostly until this last one. But I don't wanna, no, it's too late. It's too late for me. That's gonna have to not bother me. And then lastly, we just have chilies and peppers, which I think is just gonna have to be chilies. Nice, except for my one sideways one. Okay, let's do some refills. We got some red pepper, oh, red pepper flakes, not chilies. Well, I'm gonna fix that, but. Chili's going back. Looks a little bit fucked up now, but that's okay. Okay, kind of hate that these actually like are not centered. Like you had one job. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Looked better with the chilies. Okay, garlic powder. I'm putting this one in the back. Turmeric. <laughs> this is very satisfying to me. Like this just makes it so easy. I wish I could have all of them labeled, but I have these Trader Joe's ones that I don't have a label for. I actually have so many Trader Joe's seasonings. I have the ranch. I put this on popcorn. It's so good. Obviously everything but the bagel. This one. Oh, this cheesy seasoning blend. Also great on popcorn. Uh, we have this pizza sprinkle seasoning blend. Also great for popcorn. Otherwise, I don't really know what to do with this. Honestly. I have this guy, this Mushroom and Company umami seasoning blend. I put this in ramen. Everything but the leftovers. And then lastly, I have this onion salt. This was a good move. I will link the labels down below, although like this is questionable. Either way, I will link some labels in the description slash in my storefront. I've linked, it's 7 p.m. I've been on the couch working for the last couple hours and now that it's seven o'clock, it's time for dinner. I literally didn't realize and it's about to be so much worse too. Like in five days when the clock goes back, I'm gonna be so disoriented. This happens every year. Like I don't, I don't mind the cold. I'm fine with the cold despite me not wanting to go out today. <laughs> it's fine to me. I just don't support the clock's moving. I just don't, I simply don't. Anyways, it's Halloween. I gotta spookify this place because this is all coming down in the morning. So we gotta soak it in for its last moments, starting with the TV. That's it, that's it for now. Also gonna get the sunset lamp, put that in the kitchen, and we're gonna make a spooky fall pasta. <laughs> Actually, you know what's missing? You know what's missing. Stunning. I love the sunset lamp, it's just cool. And it's feeling like a good time to have the pumpkin pasta. This is about to be so cute. Set eight minute timer. Okay, move the sunset lamp. Look at the vibe I have going for me tonight. This is perfect. Pasta's done cooking. I have to throw in some sauce. Obviously going for the autumn harvest creamy pasta sauce with pumpkin and butternut squash. And then I think I'm gonna add a little bit of cream to that. Oh, and maybe some cheese. I'm gonna do a little splash of the pasta water. Splash of cream and some unexpected cheddar. Ooh, hoo -hoo. well it looks wonderful. Unfortunately, not all the pumpkins survived and like stayed in pumpkin form, but that's okay. The sauce is good. A little pepper. Guys, I'm bringing this to the couch and watching Halloween Town. It's a perfect night. The vibes are simply immaculate. I have to try this. It's a got a bubbly. Immediately, yes. They're so cute. Look at the little pumpkin. Mm. And now we watch. I love this movie. It, it brings me all the feels. Like just hearing this intro. 2005, it's almost 20 years old. That's insane. Do, do, do. I love this movie. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Merry Christmas. It's November 1st. I'm seeing all the Mariah Carey this morning. We're here. 
Halloween is behind us, which means Christmas is coming. I'm so excited. Actually, I think, oh. I know the Christmas drinks are coming out at Starbucks in like two days. We're gonna have to try them. But first, we say goodbye. I'm gonna try to keep this organized. I don't know how to store these without them getting too balled up. I wanna keep the little ghosties, but I feel like it probably should have. They're just so cute. I told myself as soon as I get out of bed, we're saying goodbye to the Halloween. Okay, goodbye Mrs. Skeleton. You were only here for two weeks, but I appreciate your time. These are all going right to the tour shelves in the closet downstairs, the book nook, whatever. Will I ever get around to actually putting books in there? Maybe. But right now it's really useful storage space and I'm looking forward to using it for that purpose. Oh, actually, I bought new branches for this to try. So we'll play with that. For like the two weeks that I'm gonna have fall stuff up. And then we're going <coughs> Also, the book I'm reading last night actually was like spooky. Like, I'm a little scared reading it and going to bed. You know, there are some thrillers that don't scare me, but anything with like ghosts really scares me. Goodbye, bats. Thank you. See you next year. Okay, from the storage closet, we have a pumpkin. I'm gonna put that guy there. And then these are the branches I got. If I don't like anything more than these branches, I'm gonna put these in the office. Oh, you know what? I actually think once these are fluffed, this is gonna look good. Yeah, I like that. Cute! And now for over here. That works. Okay, lastly we have the office. And then a little bit to my bedroom. You know what? I kind of thought this was gonna take longer than it has. When I was putting up the bats, I was like, ooh, is this gonna be a bitch? Like I have bats all over the house. It's not bad. <laughs> like literally 15 seconds. See, I love that I decorated for fall first. So now I have all like the fall things and I just have to remove and then it's fresh. <laughs> Last night I ended up watching half of the first Halloween Town and then I switched over to Halloween Town 2. I think last year I watched the first one and I was like, this is a little too fresh for me. So then I went to the second and that was fun. But then I ended up reading my book and scared the shit out of myself. <laughs> it's fine. Little ghosty guy, the little ghosty. I've never lit them. I don't think I can, like they're just too cute. This looks great. I love it. And that's it. There's a crow over here, but nice and easy. Lastly for my room, we're just gonna Take this off. And then I think I'm gonna leave that here actually. And then we just have this little guy. All done. Actually, I'm gonna put these little cloud candles here. I got them in some PR package. They're so cute, but I don't really know where else to put them. So they will go up here. Cute, whatever. Oh wait, how could I forget? Okay, now we're done. Spooky touches are all gone. It's official. Honestly, I thought it was gonna look really bare and not as cute in here without them. But it just looks fresh again. I'm not mad. I have my nail appointment at 12.30, so I'm gonna get some work done until then, but I gotta eat before I go, and I also have to get myself fully ready because I'm going right from the nail salon to my date with the British man. So that should be interesting. So I'm gonna do some power editing over here, and then I think I'll make some eggs. I was so drunk when I met that man. It should be very interesting. This should be a very interesting experience. We'll see how my drunk radar is. Like, do I have a vibe for cute men? We'll see. Slash I've already confirmed. I creeped the shit out of the internet. I found this man. And sure enough, cute. But his personality is the question mark. I have no idea. He looks more like a man versus the boys I usually go out on dates with. Sarah said he looks like Denny from Grey's Anatomy for a visual, but with a British accent. We're gonna get coffee, which is good. Both of us sober. I can vibe them out better that way. Normally I would say no to a coffee date, but it's the only time that works because I have plans tonight and tomorrow night and then I'm gone until Monday, Monday night, so. Anyways, oh, you get some work done. Okie dokie, I can't believe this is happening today. Gotta pick out a cardigan because it's cold outside. It's a coffee date, like I don't want to dress up. You know, it's a fine line between overdoing it and underdoing it. And I feel like I got a good base here. It's just that it's cold and it's kind of hard to look really cute when it's really cold. I'm going gray and then I'm gonna throw on my leather jacket and I really hope that's gonna be warm enough. It really might not be, but the sun is out so I have hopes. This is gonna have to do though because I've run out of time. I cannot make food. I'm gonna take a little bar. I have these like, hold on. I have these bars that I got, like these little midday squares. Um, it's gonna have to do. It should be a very 
interesting experience. I have never gone out with anybody that isn't from Canada or the US. So I'm just intrigued to see how this is gonna be. Like, I don't know what the dating culture is like in the UK or just, you know, it's different everywhere. So I don't know what to expect. I don't really know if I love what I'm wearing, but I'm kind of out of time. So we're gonna go. holiday decor. These little pajamas. They're so cute. How cute is this? Like a little stocking. <gasps> but these, I'm gonna have to come back for them and all of it really. I have to leave in five minutes for my coffee date. So we're just gonna stroll around. This looks just like what I got at Anthropology. That's nice. These are so cute. Love this and this and the mini version. Classic. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we're home. First of all, the nails look fantastic. I love the color. I actually took a picture so I could tell you guys what the color is. I usually have no idea because I pick from like the numbers versus knowing what the shade name is, but I specifically made sure to ask. It's an OPI gel in Malaga wine and I love it. Like I feel like it's the perfect winter red. Like it looks so good. It's been an experience this afternoon. Immediately going for a bowl of soup because a nice bowl of Warm soup sounds perfect. Pretty chilly out. Actually, while I was in the car, I thought I saw some snow. I, I know I did. I, I don't think I did. I, I know I did. So it's that cold. Cold enough for snowflakes. Okay, let me get my soup ready and then we'll talk about it in the office. It was definitely an experience. I will tell you that. I also brought my book with me in the car. I read it while I was getting my nails done. Usually I watch the TVs that are there, which is so convenient. Like it makes going to the salon a very nice experience, like a little, little TV break, you know? But I decided to read my book instead because it is a good book. I'm really liking it. It is so good. It's definitely a little spooky, but I'm really into it. All I'm gonna do is read it and see what happens. Like I'm so intrigued. I have so many thoughts and theories, but I really don't know. Okay. So I feel like I can talk about this because I really don't think he's going to watch it. I'm always a little hesitant to talk about dates just because I don't know if they're gonna creep me, but I feel pretty confident that he's not going to watch this for a few reasons. I don't think he really watches things. He doesn't look at TikTok, doesn't watch TV. It was all around a very interesting, it's just interesting. Like I wouldn't say it was good or bad. I could definitely feel like the difference in the way that we were raised, like he talks a lot differently, like very uncensored. <laughs> Whereas I feel like people here are more censored with the things that they say. Like he fully asked me, he was like, oh, are you watching your calories right now? Out of nowhere, like we were talking about getting ice cream. I guess he was maybe implying that we should get some and I kind of just breezed over it because it's very cold outside. I'm not gonna get some ice cream. And then for him to ask me like, oh, are you watching your calories? And then he's like, yeah, women like to wash their calories. And I was just thinking like, that is so, different. He was really cute. Like he was a good vibe. He was very like nice and friendly and warm. Like he was like a big teddy bear. He does look like Debbie from Grey's Anatomy, which is a vibe. But my biggest thing that I pay attention to on first dates is how many questions they ask about me because I always make sure to ask and try to get to know somebody and you know, things they like and you know, the surface level shit you talk about on a first date. I like to be aware of if they're asking me questions back or if it's just me. Like I can have a good vibe with almost anyone. I can, you know, make conversation. So in the past, sometimes it's a blurry line between did I like them or like, can I just have fun with anyone? This was one of those dates where like, we had a really fun time, we laughed, it was a good vibe, but he really didn't ask me much about myself. Didn't really ask about my job, my life. Like I told him things, but he didn't ask any further questions. And that is my biggest meh thing. Like he asked me like halfway through if he could see me again when I get back and then he kissed me goodbye. So what do we think? Mm. Normally I try not to talk about this stuff just in case they watch because that's so awkward. But I don't think he's gonna watch. So I feel like it's safe. 
I have around three hours until I'm out of the house again. So I'm just gonna get some work done, edit this vlog, eat my soup, drink my soup. And I love that like I already have my makeup done. So I don't have to worry about rushing to get ready like I usually do. Brilliant. Brilliant. I think we're gonna bring out the leather pants for the first time of the season. They're simply the easiest thing to throw on to look nicer. This is gonna be the move. Leather pants and then probably some black top. I don't know, it's a holiday party. So I'm like, do I wanna go holiday-esque? I don't wanna go too hard because it feels a little early for holiday stuff. Decided on this top. I feel like this is the cutest holiday party top ever. Decided to pull my hair back a little bit. This is pretty much where I tap out on hairstyles. I do not do them. I would love to be the girl that has like all these cool hairstyles. I just have never been that person. My entire life, just putting my hair up was a journey. Like when I was, I think I was four when I did ballet and for the dance recital, all the little girls had like slick back buns and I had a meltdown at four years old over doing a slick back bun. <laughs> to the point where I like would not let anyone put any gel in my hair. I had my grandmother like pin back all of my hair. I don't know why I was born this way, but it just, I am a girly that just keeps the hair down. So this kind of vibe, this is where I tap out for the most part. I love the look of the cool hairstyles. I love the idea of a slick back ponytail. Like I feel like this top especially is calling for a slick back pony, like a high ponytail. But I just don't think that I could do it. Like I don't think I would feel comfortable. I also don't think that my hairline really allows for that. Anyways, I think I'm going leather on leather with a jacket. So cute. Let's do a little haul and then I'm crawling right into bed to get back to my book. I was reading it in the car. It is so good. The only one left. Love. We have a little travel bag and then there is the collagen lip bath icons. Very cute. As well as travel sized superstar glow kit. There's the highlighter and the blush. And lastly, the blush and glow glide palette. Charlotte Tilbury hosts a stunning party. Did I even tell you that's where I was going? I don't know if I did. Anyways, Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite brands. I love their skincare and I also love their makeup. So that was really, really fun. Now it's time for pajamas and bed. Two events tomorrow, gotta prep for New York, lots going on. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Hope you had a great Halloween and I will see you guys in the next vlog with New York prep and then after that, a whole weekend in New York City. If you wanna see New York in real time, I'm gonna be posting on my stories and probably on TikTok. So follow me over there if you want to see what's going on. If not, you'll see it all in the vlog. Love you, bye.